Um, after uh, 15 years, I'm going to uh, step down. And with that, the winningest coach in Arena Football League history ended his association with the Tampa Bay Storm. What he did on the field was uh, very impressive. While Lightning and Tampa Bay Sports and Entertainment CEO Todd Lewicki gives Markham high marks for his on-field performance, his off-field actions led to the coach's demise. It made it uh, kind of impossible for, for me to go forward. As we first uncovered, those distractions included Markham forwarding hardcore pornography and racist emails from his Storm computer, which Markham admitted in deposition. Tell me what kind of example that sets for the rest of the world and people who look well, at the sports figures. I didn't send any emails, so. You didn't forward any? You know, I'm not going to get into he say, she say thing right now. But excelling on the field, as Markham did, overrides problems off the field for many of Markham's supporters who want to overlook the current problems, as well as two drunk driving arrests and convictions and an arrest on insurance fraud. New coach Dave Ewart says Markham is like a father. Kind of emotional. And while the organization said Markham would do one-on-one -on -one interviews at his office here at the St. Pete Times Forum, and we wanted to sit down with him and give him the opportunity to complain about our stories that exposed what he had done, he declined. But the coach did have a special goodbye for us as he left the news conference. It's been, it's been great. Appreciate you, okay? Especially you. But what the coach doesn't appreciate is his problems aren't as a result of the media, but self-inflicted mistakes. Mike Deason, 10 News.